Lauren Greenfield is a documentary photographer and filmmaker. Her work is presented in books, gallery exhibitions, and films. Her photographs show the current youth culture and how they are affected by our changing values. She has won numerous awards for her work, including the 2018 Paris Photography Prize for Photographer of the Year. The majority, if not all of Lauren's work, fall into the ethically evaluative category. They call on us to judge the photo's subjects with either praise or condemnation. Her photographs can be both beautiful and disturbing. Lauren has produced four major photographic bodies of work. They are important as they take a hard look at how the wealthy or the striving to obtain wealth influences our society. Her first body of work, Fast Forward, Growing Up in the Shadow of Hollywood, was published in 1997. It is a collection of 79 color photographs and looks at Los Angeles youth culture and how it influences our whole society, from the wealthy children of West LA to the graffiti gangs of East LA. These children deal with ever-increasing images emphasizing money, possessions, and eternal youth. This image captures a young girl posing in front of a mirror. The girl, striking a pose meant to make her look older and more mature, is juxtaposed against the Winnie the Pooh shampoo bottles and the toy horses of a young child arranged around the bathtub. To me, these highlight a young girl's desire to grow up perhaps a bit too soon. The natural lighting and scene make this image stand out as one that appears to be one of everyday life. Here we see a young boy dressing up in a rather large walk-in closet, complete with dressing table. As he dresses up, we can observe his slick back hair and sporty shirt. I am led to wonder about the types of images he sees that lead him to try to dress this way. I am also drawn to the background of the image that shows what I think are an excess of clothing and other things. Again, Lauren Green uses natural light to make this image seem like one that we would randomly snap at home. Lauren's second major body of work is titled Girl Culture and was published in 2002. In 100 photographs, Lauren records girls of all ages in settings that range from the locker room to the dressing room to prom. In those photographs, she shows modern femininity and how it differs from feminine ideals of the past. This photo of girls being weighed in at fat camp highlights issues of self-esteem that young girls have, particularly about their bodies and fitting in. Once again, using natural available lighting, Lauren causes us to focus on the two girls in the center of the photograph. Highlighted are the worried look on the girls' faces as we and they wonder how they are doing with weight loss. We can also notice how the girl on the right is pinching the fat at her waist. We are called to think about this situation and if this is what we want our young girls to be focused on. Here, we see four 13-year-old girls dressed for their first 7th grade dance. Wearing the proper clothing is a must. All are dressed to impress. All are trying to look older, but not too old, because that would be weird. Lauren is a master of using natural light, making all these photos look like something anyone could take. But here, take a closer look at the different expressions on each of the girls' faces, typical of girls their age, as they pose for the camera. Thin, Lauren's third major body of work, published in 2006, is both a photographic essay and a documentary film. It explores the residents of the Renfrew Center in Coconut Creek, Florida, a residential facility for the treatment of women with eating disorders. Her photos bring to life the stark reality of the emotional and physical struggle these women face trying to overcome their illness. Lauren focuses tightly on these bone-thin hands picking apart a meal. Both the foreground and background blur out, causing us to focus on what is occurring. A young woman, forcing herself to eat, is picking apart her meal into very small bites. This is a tactic used to feel more filled up so you won't eat as much. You can feel the subject forcing herself to eat what is required a little bit at a time. Here we see a young woman being weighed, but turned away from the scale so she won't know if she has gained any weight. This is for me the most disturbing of Lauren Greenfield's images. To me, the way she is held and the positioning of her arms 
evokes the image of Jesus as he is positioned on the cross. Her face is devoid of emotion as she is led to do what she must. You can almost feel the despair in this young woman as she struggles with her illness and what she must do day to day. Published in 2017, Lauren's most recent work, Generation Wealth, is a look into the subject of wealth over the last 25 years. No longer do we look to our neighbors wanting better jeans or a car or wanting a better model house. New goals, unobtainable and unrealistic, are set by comparing ourselves to the reality stars on TV. These photographs are a look at the desire to be wealthy at any cost. Money can't buy you love, but $75,000 can get you a fairy tale wedding in Disney World complete with Cinderella's glass coach. Weddings have grown more extravagant as the years have progressed. No longer a celebration before your friends and relatives, weddings have become a consumer ritual. In this picture, Lauren uses natural backlight to make the carriage, bride, and groom stand out. Here, appearances are everything. Bigger is better. That is the message of this image. Here we see Limo Bob, who builds, sells, and rents out limos in Chicago. His fleet includes a 100-foot-long limo and one made from a Boeing 727. He wears 33 pounds of gold jewelry on his hands and neck. It just reeks of excess. It is no longer just enough to build and run a successful business. It has to be the biggest and the best. Lauren drives this point home by a photo of Bob in repose, wearing a fur coat, surrounded by gaudy items denoting wealth. This drives home the message of excess, and that is what matters.